Hello guys. Today we will see, how to configure NDMP authentication, for the vServerscope in cluster mode NetApp. vServerscope NDMP authentication, can be used if the backup application support CAB features, which is also known as cluster aware backup. When using NDMP in the vServerscope mode, authentication can be configured, either through the vServer or cluster. This means that a single cluster-wide user, can be created to manage all of the vServers, in the entire cluster or a separate user can be configured, through vServer to manage each individually. Run the shown command, to view the current configuration using vServer. In this case NDMP services, is in disabled state for both cluster-wide, as well as for individual vServer. Before enabling the NDMP services, for cluster-wide and for individual vServer, we need to make sure that the NDMP protocol, is listed under allowed protocols for individual vServer. Execute the vServer show command, to see the listed allowed protocol for a vServer. As NDMP is under the allowed protocol, we can enable the NDMP services on each vServer. By default, all protocol are allowed for the vServer cluster. Execute the shown command to enable, the NDMP services for entire cluster. Similarly to enable NDMP services for individual vServer, execute the shown command. After enabling the NDMP services, we need to generate password using which, backup application can authenticate for NDMP operation. By default, there is a cluster-wide administrator level account created called admin, which can be used for managing entire cluster NDMP operation. To generate an NDMP password for the entire cluster, execute the shown command with username admin and the vServer name as cluster1. The NDMP credentials for the entire cluster named cluster1, now can be used from the backup application, to authenticate using NDMP. Similarly each vServer that gets created, also has a default admin account created, called vsadmin which can be used for, NDMP operation for respective vServer. To generate an NDMP password for the vServer, execute the shown command, with username vsadmin and with respective vServer name. The NDMP credentials for the vServer named vs1cifs, now can be used from the backup application, to authenticate using NDMP. To see the current status of the NDMP services, execute the shown command. To modify any available parameter, for vServer scope NDMP, we can use, the vServer services NDMP modify command. We can also use the same command to modify authentication type. To modify the authentication type, from challenge to plaintext, execute the shown command. This conclude the video on how to configure NDMP authentication, in the vServer scope. Please subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos on this topic. Thank you for watching.